did a uh, Steadicam on one of my favorite movies of all time before uh, Sunrise, or was it Sunset? Mm, yeah. Was it be before Sunset? Yeah. Sunset. Um, what was that experience like being a part of that? Because, I mean, I love that movie. I love that movie too. It's fun. I, I, I love uh, Richard Linklater's work. Well, anyway, uh, it's fantastic. But I, it's, I, there were actually were two camera operators on two state camera operators on this show. Uh, one was American, and I was the French one. And uh, it was it was a ride. It was a ride. Like, like filming that journey of those two characters through Paris as one big you know, moment, and doing all those things in one take most of the time. It's not maybe two takes, but like simultaneously it was it was a great like film experience. Well, that's the other thing about Link Ladder in that particular movie is that there weren't a lot of cuts. So being a Steadicam on that movie is a, maybe a little different than some other movies. That's the point. You know it's not going to be just a tool to give you like some material. You know it's going to be used as one. Totally. <laughs> so it's it's what Steadicam was made for, wasn't it? So yes, it's it's very gratifying. Was there one shot on that? For, I, mean, I want to jump into your movie, but was there, was, there, <laughs> was there one shot on that one that you're like, I can't believe we got it, or just one memory you have of any of those? Uh, no, I couldn't recall one specific one. There, there's quite a few. When you, you, you just the longest or the toughest, so, as you, of course. So there's there's one which we did on on that bridge. We're like going on and on and on and on. There was like people passing. It was it was a kind of a cool choreography. Jumping into why I get to talk to you today. Um, what was it? I mean, Sean Penn does not make movies like this. This is, hmm. I believe, the first one where he's being a badass action guy doing his own stunts. What was it like collaborating with him? Because he's known as such an intense guy. He's intense, and that's why he's good. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's you, you, you. That's what you want. I mean, is is when he embraces the character, whether it's this one, which yeah, as you said, is the first time he does an action movie, or any of the other characters has been before. He delivers a character which is so intense and so layered and complex that it's it's interesting, and it also doesn't compromise. It's just like he does it until it's good, whether it's for the action or the, the performance. And he just gave it again and again until it was perfect. And he just uh, a thousand percent of this character. He became a killer. Uh, I would <laughs> imagine that one of the reasons you have such a stellar cast in this is Sean. Yeah. Um, what was it like when you start reaching out to other actors and you're like, I have Sean, do you want to do this role? <laughs> uh, it probably facilitates, that's for sure. Um, the funny thing is, like, we had the same, Sean and I had the same uh, uh, ideas for the rest of the cast, actually. So we, we, he gave phone calls and we gave phone calls and they, it all worked all together. Uh, but yeah, of course, and when you have, uh, we have a guy like this guy, Sean, people want to work with him. Uh, how long was your first cut on this movie? Three hours. Really? Yeah. Oh, now, when you Three do ten, I think. Was that way too much? Was that an? <laughs> well, some people have it that. It was an assemble. It was an assemble. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. No, you. a real cut. No, we we were not. The, the assemble was three hours. Uh, we shrunk it down to I think uh, a good a uh, little less than two. Like I think one hour fifty five was one of the cuts, and then we pulled it down a little more. It's not that much fat in there. Well, I was going to say, uh, uh, was there a longer version that you would have been happy, or the one that you're releasing is like, this is the one? This is the one. This okay. is the one, really. There's, there's more material, but we boil it to the essence of what is really what needs to be. So this is the one. Are you a fan of doing extended cuts on the Blu-ray? or? Um, I'm a, a, it depends on the movie. I don't. Um, I always feel like... Because I've been always lucky to work with producers who agree with me on everything. That um, if a, if a scene is not on the cut, it's because it's not meant to be on the cut. There's a reason for it not to be in the movie, basically. So why show it uh, to uh, an audience in a, in a, in a bigger, in a, in, a, in, a, in a longer version? I, I don't I don't need that. What did you learn from friends and family screenings or test screenings that impacted the final release of the movie? Um, mostly. Um, Clarifying what the situation is in the Congo in the first place. That was the, one of the biggest uh, uh, questions. Like, people know a little bit about what's going on in Africa, uh, but they don't know specifically what's going on in Africa. So we have to educate the origins in the first you know, three minutes of the movie, let's say. And that's what we learn mostly out of, of the, the first screenings. Uh, I know that Sean is listed as a co screenwriter on the project. Um, how did, when he got involved, how did the script change into what it became with his involvement? Um, it, it, it just it just put in the movie some of his, let's say, experience because he's, he's so uh, 
so much into uh, humanitarian work and always work in Haiti and, and he, he's been traveling and meeting lots of people in that realm and uh, I just input a lot of, of realism in, in uh, a, few, a few pieces, most of it. Uh, one of the things that I enjoy is gritty, bloody action sequences. <laughs> I'm, I'm just a fan of that. I, maybe I have a twisted mind. Um, so do I. Right, exactly. exactly. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> um, what, one of the things about the, uh, about the film is that you do have some pretty gritty graphic scenes. Mm -hmm. um, talk a little bit about uh, uh, filming those and... Um, I don't know what to say. It's just, it's, it's making action pieces are always, always fun. It's always a very demanding and very repetitive work, uh, but because to make one minute of, of, of action uh, sequence, you need to work like a week. <laughs> it's exhausting, <laughs> but it's a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, you just have to push the actors to the limit. And, and once again, Sean did everything himself, so he wants to push himself to, so that the hits feel harder and the reaction feel harder and the impacts feel harder. It just, I love, yeah. Uh, reiterations of the same hits again and again until they feel right and they hurt. <laughs> uh, I, I looked on the always accurate IMDB and I could not really figure <laughs> out what you are doing next. So I have to ask, what are you doing next? I don't know. That's why IMDB doesn't know. Uh, I'm preparing different things. I, I'm developing several things. I don't know which one will be next. Um, I will. I have to wrap with you. I'm going to say congratulations. Thank you very much. Doug the movie and I hope you are making more action in the future. I will. Thank you. Cool. Thank, Thank you so much.